am Linda from Bar Lavi's Body Blitz. Welcome to Target 20 Bar. For today's workout, all you will need is a sturdy chair just for support and for balance. We're going to be using a playground ball, an inflatable playground ball, or if you have a bar ball or a Pilates ball, basically just something to squish into because we're going to be using it for resistance. If you don't have one, you can roll up a bath towel and use that instead, or even a small sofa cushion. I've also got some light hand weights, one kilo, and a resistance loop. Now this is optional, but it's going to add a little bit of resistance to our arm work. We've got 20 rounds, 60 seconds of work, no break in between. We're gonna keep the pace fast, so there will be a bit of a cardio factor in this workout. But if you find that it's just too fast, slow it down to suit you. Take breaks when you need to, but I'm going to flow all the way through for 20 rounds. So for the first exercise, we're going to be wearing the loop around our wrists and we're also going to have our light hand weights. So I'm going to press start, so get yourself ready. And we're going to come into a nice wide stance and just do some hammer curls overhead, down and down. So a hammer curl means that your palms are facing each other and I want you to keep your arms wide enough so that you feel the tension on that loop, okay? So push out and it's down up all the way overhead, pressing down your shoulders in opposition. I'm in my wide plie with my toes turned out, my weight is in the heels. I've got my tummy pulled in and I'm kind of bouncing a little bit through my legs. And that's just so that I can start activating all of those lower body muscles. 25 seconds to go down and up. So total body move to start. Hold your belly button into your spine. Keep your back nice and tall. Breathing. 15, 14. Come on. A few more like this. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. We're going into a curtsy lunge next. 3, 2 and 1. So step behind with one leg and we're going to turn our palms and just up and then shape of the arms up. So bicep and then shape of the arms up. So when you're bringing your arms up, they're slightly bent, still maintaining the pull out on the loop at all times. So you're actually using your shoulders here the entire time. Arms up, shape of the arms up, all the way. These are tiny weights, so you really need to squeeze in and control on the up and control on the down. Tummy's in and your weight is balanced in between both legs. Maybe sink a little bit lower, why not? 20 seconds to go. All the way in, shape of the arms up. 15 seconds, are your shoulders burning yet? Mine definitely are. 11, 10. Breathe, seven, six. We're gonna stay on this side and do little bounces through the legs now with pulls out, two, one. So pull out, tiny to the side, and bounce through the legs. So my elbows are into my waist and it's burning big time. Don't worry, we're not doing this for the entire minute. Down and down. Try and sink lower, all the way down. Keep going, down and down. Really think about that back thigh. You should be feeling that. Eight seconds and we're changing it. Five, four, three, two, one. Now tiny ins shape of the arms out so you're slightly out in front of the body with those arms keeping that nice diamond shape 23 seconds we're switching sides with our curtsy lunge next 16 15 14 13 come on a few more 10 seconds breathe through it 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 so cross over, your feet are turned out here. We're gonna bring the heads of the weights together. Open and close. Open and close. So this is super tough. If you can't do it with the loop, just do wider range of motion with the weights, okay? So you're trying to keep your arms up at shoulder height. The other option is just use the loop and pull out on the loop. So you've got so many options here and we're working the same muscle group with each of them. 30 seconds to go. Out, tap together. Out, tap together. So if you're using both, this is gonna be so tough. You're really gonna burn out those shoulders, but on the in, I want you to push against those weights and feel the corners of your chest engaging. Just 10 seconds, I promise this 
is the last one that's really going to burn those shoulders out. Five, four, three, two, one. Now keep that loop up there. We're going to bring our elbows in, elbows in and bounce the legs. So push out. My elbows are slightly coming out on an angle. I'm hinging forward, so more of my weight is in the front heel. That's okay. You should feel that leg now, that hip. So keep your arms slightly wider, but elbows are coming to the back. Still enough tension on that loop. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Push your shoulders down in opposition. 28. So after this, we're going to drop the loop and the weights, and we're going to get our ball. 21. Keep going. You can do this. 17, 16. 15, 14. Drive it up. Squeeze your shoulder blades as if you've got a pencil in there and you're trying to squish it. 7, 6. 5, 4. Quick transition. 3, 2, 1. Put that down. Back into a wide stance. Put the ball on your thigh. We're going to press down. We're going to reach over. Press down. Reach over. Little bounce and press. Little bounce and press. Reach. Bounce and press. Reach. So, get low. Weight is in the heels and you're pushing down on that thigh, activating your arm, reaching directly to the side, activating your obliques, holding your belly button into your spine. Now put it together, reach and press and pulse. Reach, press and pulse. Three little moves all together. <sighs> Breathe through it, press down. Down and down. 17, 16. Push down, really open those legs as wide as you can so that you're activating your inner thighs. Eight, seven, six, five, come on. Four, three, we're gonna lift this toe. Two, one, now lift the toe, press down and just little pulses faster. Press and pulse faster, leaving your body to the side. Maybe bend longer, reaching that top arm, pulsing, pulsing. Are you feeling your inner thighs? You need to have a wide stance here and you need to be low. Tummies are in and you're directly to the side. Now if this is too tough, up on your toe, then do it flat footed. But if you can, just keep pulsing into it. Now we're gonna come down and up as we pulse. So down and up with the heel for the last 24 seconds. Down and up. Then we're doing this to the other side. 18, 17. You can do it. 15 seconds, try not to come out of it. Press down with that hand. You should be activating your entire arm. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Other side, same stance, arm overhead, press down and over. Over, press pulse, over. Press pulse, then over. So you're coming a little bit upright, but not all the way. And then you're reaching directly to the side. Important that you don't lean forward or back. You wanna be reaching to the far wall. Press pulse, over, press pulse, over. It's almost like the push on the ball is pressing your legs down. Come low, nice wide stance. Now start going over, press pulse, and reaching at the same time. Over and over, over and over. Reach and reach. Pushing into that ball, wide stance, come on. You can do this all the way over with those fingertips. A few more seconds, five seconds, four, three, two, one. Up with the heel and it's pulse, keeping that body over, keeping the press on the ball and keeping your heel high. Get down low, come on, tummies are in. Breathe, over, over, pulse, pulse. A few more, then we're gonna start bringing the heel up and down. But I really want you to feel this burn in every part of your body. Lean further, reach further. Three, two, one, it's down and up. Are you pressing into your ball? If you need to, readjust your stance anytime you can. And if this is too much, lose the ball, Lose the arm overhead. Maybe don't do the heel drops. 15 seconds. Then we're gonna hold on to the ball in the center and we're gonna stay in this stance 
and we're going to do some pulses and heel switches. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold on, press into it, pulse and heel switch. Now you might need to come in a little bit closer. Pulse and heel switch, classic move, press in on the ball. Use your chest here, think chest. Push your shoulders down in opposition, okay? I don't want your shoulders hunching. 43. Ah, oh, are you feeling this now? We're gonna use the chair next. So you wanna make sure you can get that for the next exercise. And we're gonna put the ball between the thighs. 30, 29. Keep going. Don't stop now. Last bit of wide plie. 21. You can do it. This is all standing work today. 15 seconds. Switching through the heels, building strong calves, ankles and feet. 10 seconds. Finish with me. Seven, six, five, four. It's okay if you wobble. Three, two, and one. Grab your chair. The ball comes in between your thighs. It can be just above the knees. Come up on your tippy toes, then sink down low. Now step one foot in front, and I want you to pick up that leg and just bring it up, up, up. Up, so we're up on this toe. We've got our tummy pulled in. Our shoulders are down and back. We're just bringing this leg up. Doesn't have to be high. I want you to squeeze in on the ball. That's what's gonna help you keep it in place. Up and up, straight leg, really, really straight, slightly turned out. So you're pressing in with your inner thigh. Up, up, I know it's tough. If you can't do on the toe, Stay flat-footed, maybe bend into this knee and maybe bring that leg slightly higher. Okay, but if you can, four seconds. Three, two, and one. Everyone come flat-footed. And now we're gonna keep the leg up and press in and in, in and in, in and in. You need to keep the leg up. Your upper body is relaxed and straight and you're pressing in with the inner thigh. Leg is slightly turned out, so the kneecap is at 45 degrees, not up to the ceiling. In and in, press it in, breathe. We're gonna hinge forward next by putting our elbows on the chair and our legs are gonna be behind and we're going to keep a straight leg and do raises, squeezing in on the ball. But keep going with this, maybe sink lower in your supporting leg, burning out the front of that thigh too and a bit of glute work there, 16, 15. Come on, squeeze it in. Tiny motions, big results. Eight, seven, six, five, you can do it. Four, three, two, one. Now hinge forward and bring that leg behind and press in and it's a tiny up and down, up and down. So you need to squeeze the heck out of that ball so that it doesn't come out, okay? So up and down, up and down. Try to squeeze your inner thighs together and make sure you've got your tummy in and you're slightly tucking your hips. Okay, that's really important here. Up and down, tuck those hips. Anytime you need to readjust the ball, do it. I'd rather you have perfect form than rushing it. Up and down, up and down. 20 seconds, squeeze the base of those glutes and that's what's gonna help you lift that leg, okay? You're not just um, flailing the leg around wildly. It's really controlled. Up and down, up. Six seconds, then we're gonna do a bend extend, keeping the leg nice and high. Up, it's in and out. Now, press in on the ball as hard as you can. Tuck your hip slightly. So this hip, push it forward. Your leg is not gonna be high here. That's okay. You can have a micro bend in the, in the supporting leg, unless you like it straight, I like mine straight. Bend, extend, push in on the ball. So here you're working glutes. If you've got your leg high enough, you're working hamstrings and you're working inner thighs. 30 seconds, extend, bend, extend, press in on the ball, bend, extend. The last one on this side, we're gonna keep our leg up and poke up to the ceiling with a bent leg. Are you shaking? If you're pressing hard enough, you should feel a shake there. 13 seconds, 12, 11, come on. 
Try to keep your hips level. So look at your hips, are both hip bones facing down. And don't crane your neck to look at me. Three, two, one, keep your leg up, pulse up. You're pushing in against the ball and you're poking your toe up to the ceiling. Tiny micro movement. As you push up, tuck the hip forward. We're gonna change sides after this one and go back to the front of the leg. So we're gonna to have to switch our chair to the other side. Breathe through it, 38 seconds. You can do this, just squeeze. It's so small a movement, you're gonna hardly see much motion, but it's a big burn, right? If you're doing this with me, you know it's a big burn. Flat back, tummy's in, shoulders relaxed, 20 seconds to go. Come on, 1918, this is the toughest one if you're pushing in as hard as me. Tuck your hips forward, come on. 13 seconds, you can do it. 10 seconds is all. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Quickly change that to the other side. Come into that nice stance, up on your toes, soft, leg in front and start lifting and tap. So now my leg is turned out again. I'm up on the supporting leg toe, my knee is bent, my shoulders are above my hips, are above my heel. Perfect alignment, as if I'm leaning against a wall. Really come high, squeezing in on the ball. You don't have to tap all the way down. If you don't want to, you can stay up. You want to make sure that your tummy's in here to support your core and your back. It will help you with balance too. And remember your option, if this isn't available to you yet, which is totally fine, down on a flat foot. Only 17 seconds to go. Breathe, breathe through it. Keep your legs stick straight, 10 seconds, and then we're gonna squeeze in. Seven, six, five, four, inner thigh death, three, two, one, come down and squeeze in. So maybe sink lower into the supporting leg. Keep that leg turned out, kneecap to 45, Point the toe, keep it straight. Push in against the ball. You should see the ball changing shape every single time. Don't fake it. 42. Come on, we're so close. This is a short and sharp workout, so every exercise and every rep counts. Do not stop. Whatever you do, if you need to go down here really low, that's fine. If you need to go half reps and go one break, two break, that's fine too. Just do something, <laughs> 20 seconds. Come on, keep going. Maybe bend lower, all the way in. Breathe, 12, 11. 10 more seconds, then we're going into that stance where our elbows are on the chair. So get ready for the transition, five, four, three, two, one. Moving my timer, come down. Leg is nice and straight and just up and down up and down. So once again, squeezing in on the ball and then using that squeeze in the glutes to lift the leg. Not going to be a very big movement because you want to make sure that you're not losing the ball, right? And if you need to readjust at any time, do it. Hello, Minnie, my little baby. 30 seconds. Again, if you want your supporting leg to be bent, you can do that. Totally up to you, I quite like mine straight. Your spine needs to be straight here, so make sure you've got that perfect stance. Squeeze that glute, squeeze in on that ball. We're doing bend, extend next. <laughs> Little mini's here to distract you all, but make sure that you're not stopping. Six, five, four, three, two. Keep it up, squeeze it in, bend, extend. So we're only moving from the knee joint. The top portion is fully straight and pushed in against the ball, okay? So make sure your kneecap is down to the mat. You're not rotating here. And look down towards your floor so that your neck is in alignment. And really just squeeze that heel in as far to the glutes as you can. 33 seconds. Pull it in, think hamstring on the in, okay? Keep going. Keep going. Is your tummy pulled in? Are you really fighting for it here? Maybe lean your head onto your hands. This is the second last exercise. You have nearly completed this. So do not stop now. Pull in 
Are you pressing in on that ball? You need to squeeze the life out of it. Five, four, three, two, one. Keep it bent and push up, push up. Now, as you're pushing up, tuck that hip forward, forward. Push the hip against the poke. You're poking up and you're pushing at the same time. 45 seconds. Poke it, poke it, squeeze it, squeeze it. In this move, there is always tension on the butt cheek, okay? So create that fist and then push up from there. Push in on the ball, don't forget your inner thighs. 28 seconds and we're done with this. So just go like the clappers now and do not stop. Push past the burn, think about it, it's only acid in your butt cheek and we're shaping like never before, you gotta squeeze it. Come on, feel the burn, see the changes. 10 seconds, nine, eight, do not stop. Seven, six, all the way to the end. Four, three, two, one, done. Oh my goodness, did you, did you feel that? Let's just go back like this and hang our body through our hands and just stretch out the hamstrings here. Then bend, extend. Bend, extend, that feels fabulous. Extend, nice job. Then come forward a bit and we're gonna go into a figure four. We're just gonna put our ankle on the back knee, lightly hold onto the chair and really sit into that. Stretching that. And then just pick that up and bring your glute, sorry, your heel to your glute Standing up nice and straight, pushing the hip forward, stretching the front of the thigh. A little bit of cardio factor there as well, right? Whenever you work lower body, other side, you're going to feel a cardio factor. And that's a good thing, right? We always want to burn some extra calories. So fast pace, lots of reps. 60 seconds is no joke. It is actually quite a long interval. Other heel to the glute, push your hip forward. So if you completed that without any breaks, then you're super strong. We used extra equipment as well for resistance. So it's not your average bar workout. It's cardio bar, right? Now hamstring in front, coming down if you can, otherwise up here. A little bit of arm work there as well, another side. You would have felt that even if you didn't have a loop. And inner thigh, just come to the side, keeping that nice and straight another side and of course you can stretch a lot longer or you can tag this onto one of the other target 20 workouts or maybe on the end of a run if you want to you can use your band stretch overhead lean it lean it lean forward on an angle another side this should feel really good one more time over and back and then just bring that behind and pull up and then hands underneath and spine up and switch which hand is on top and spine up. And that is it. Thanks so much for joining me for Target 20 Bar. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you at the next segment.